What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. Uh, this video is only for the chosen ones only, all right? I don't expect you to watch this video to the end. You might not even understand what I'm saying. It might not resonate with you, and you're going to click off because you're probably a Decepticon, okay? But if you a true chosen one, all right, I want you to just listen to what I got to say, all right? I only need eight minutes of your time just to listen to what I'm about to tell you right now because... What I'm about to tell you is about to blow your mind. And I know this been on your heart lately, but you probably have not had nobody to like, you know, agree with you on what I'm about to tell you. But listen to what I got to tell you in this video. And listen, don't forget to speak up and let your voice be heard by leaving a comment below. OK, leave your comment below and let me know um, if this video resonated with your spirit and vibrated with your soul. Share this video with a friend. If you feel the need to after this video, this is very important, all right? Listen, chosen one, listen. Now is the time to get sober, okay? Now, if, if there's any, if there ever been a time when you felt like you need to quit doing something that you're doing, like habitually, now is the time you need to get sober. I'm telling you, man, because the reason why I say that, y'all, is because, man, the world getting darker and darker and darker and more darker. You know what I'm saying? And the devil is trying to catch many people slipping as he can. Okay. And one thing you got to understand about, you know what I'm saying? Being high, being drunk. You, you're not in your right mind. I don't care how much you try to justify getting drunk. You're not a hundred percent in your higher self. Okay. I don't care how many people out there try to justify about smoking weed. It's still something outside of yourself that you need to create this, this uh, illusion in your mind that you need something outside of your human body. Okay, understand what I'm saying? Don't let me upset you either. By the way, don't let this don't let this video tick you off. All I'm saying is just listen to what I got to say in this video and leave your comment below. Okay, but listen, folks. Once you realize how it feels to have a natural high, you will start to realize that there is no better feeling than being a hundred percent sober you understand what i'm saying like it's no better feeling than that it's there's no there's no hard drug there's no hardcore drug that can create the euphoria of being a hundred percent aware alert sober clear-minded you know thinking with clarity there's no substance outside your body that is not already built inside of your god-given temple that can make you feel higher than yourself all right you're gonna hear a lot of people a lot of people gonna come into your life and they're gonna try to convince you that this is this is what's gonna make you feel good dog nah brother god put this here for us dog. everybody gonna say that there's always something outside of you that can make you feel like the real you that's not true it's not true, y'all. It's not true. I used to smoke weed too. You know what I'm saying? As man, I used to probably have more weed than you ever had. Man, I used to have jars of weed, bro. Like I had different, I had different kind of weeds to smoke every day. But thank God, like I stopped smoking because times got hard for me and I needed to save money and stuff. I needed to eat. So I couldn't have, I didn't have extra money to spend on weed. But like that put me in a position to where I couldn't even smoke no more because I was starting to get broke off buying weed. It was, it was, it was either I was going to have a place to stay or be struggling to pay my bills or I was going to smoke weed and be broke. You feel me? So I had to give up weed. And listen, ever since I stopped smoking weed, bro, I don't even need it no more, bro. Like I really don't, I don't, I don't even like to be around people that's smoking a lot of weed. I don't, I don't even like to be around people that's burning. You know what I'm saying? If somebody burning and smoking weed around me, I, I be like, just go out, just go over there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be nowadays when I be around people that smoke weed. Now I don't knock people that smoke. You understand? But I'm so allergic to it now because I know it don't really, it don't, it's not really real. It's just think about it. It's just smoke going inside your body and inside your brain and making you feel euphoria and making you is stimulating you and making you feel like something that you could not create on your own without it. Just I mean, just if you're so intelligent and so smart, wrap your head around that, man. Just wrap your head around that. You know what I'm saying? And 
I honestly think that we was I honestly think that most of us we was programmed, we was raised, we was born into a world that forced that stuff on us. You know what I'm saying? It, it forced it on us. I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke black and mouths. I used to roll up, smoke green, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? I even did shots of that. You know what I'm saying? I used to drink a bunch of alcohol. I ain't gonna lie, right now, I still got a bottle of Crown Royal on top of my refrigerator. But I don't even really drink. I don't even drink it no more like that because I'm becoming, and listen, I'm keeping it real with y'all. But I'm keeping it real with y'all because I'm letting you know that like if you're doing one of these two things right now, it's gonna be a slow, gradual process that you stop doing it. It ain't gonna be like something that when you quit this, quit, when this video go off, you gonna stop doing it. It don't work like that. Your body, your mind, your body, your soul is going to gradually wean you away from it if you want to be 100% in your highest consciousness. You cannot reach your highest consciousness. You cannot reach your Christ consciousness if you are high, bro. I don't give a crap what you're doing to stimulate yourself. There's no, Again, there's nothing outside yourself that can make you conscious as you can by yourself just being sober. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man, I used to drink so much. Man, I used to buy a bottle every day. I remember, man, I used to get a bottle every single day, man. Like, I couldn't, I mean, it's not like I was an alcoholic or nothing. It's just that I just had too much free time on my hands and it was nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? I would drink, watching TV by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll be chilling in the back of the house at the swimming pool, just at the in the beach chairs, just drinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, but come to find out, like, I'm just like slowly understanding. I don't even really need it like that. I don't even really like every time I get sober, you know what I'm saying? Every time I get sober, I feel the greatest ever, bro. The greatest ever. And you know what I'm talking about. For those of you out there be drinking, you know how it feels when you, you know how it feels when you be high or you be drunk. You know how it feel. You know what I'm saying? It feel good. It feel good at that moment. You you kicking it, you laughing, you giggly, hee hee ha ha. You talking on the phone. You know what I'm saying? You you got this little upbeat tempo about yourself, like eh. Hey, you know you you got the music on. You feeling yourself? It feel good. But the worst part is when you coming down. It's so it's like a a weight on your shoulders. It's like the, your spirit is telling you you gotta stop doing this. Yo, some of you body your body be telling you like you can't do this. Your digestive system be telling you, yo, you got to quit this, bro. You only getting older and older. Yo, I cannot keep up like that like I used to when I was young anymore. How many of you got bodies out there that's talking to you and telling you, you got to stop doing this, bro, or you going to shut down? And see, one thing you got to understand, chosen one, is like, if you a true chosen one and you, you, you know, you a child of the most high, you a child of light. You a child of light. You got good energies, okay? The only way you're going to be of light is if you sober all the time. Like, there's no way there's no way you can be a child of light and just have and be high and drunk. It don't, even, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I used, to try to, I used to try to trick myself. Like, when I would drink a whole lot, I used to trick myself into thinking, like, nah, I'm good, man. I, I, I can do this, man. This ain't nothing, man. I don't even drink like that that much anyway. Like, just trying to trick myself and psych my out, my trying to trick my mind and manipulate myself into believing that what I was doing was actually good, but not bad at the same time. And the more I just did that, I'm like, the more my body started rejecting that stuff, like, yo, breaking out, you know, skin breaking out, stuff like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh not being able to sleep that good, stomach hurting sometimes, stuff like that. And then most of the time, the reason why your body is going through these phases is because you putting poison in your body, folks. I'm sorry to say, but alcohol is simply just poison. It is poison. It's like drinking a real bottle of rubbing alcohol and putting it inside of all of your body and all of your organs is just soaking it in and it's just breaking all your organs down. It's just breaking all your skin cells down. It's breaking your body down. And it's, come. I hate to say it, but it, it, it said on the back of the bottle, it is poison. <laughs> it's pure poison. You basically poisoning yourself on purpose. You feel me? And... 
it's not good, man. It's it, it not good. Like, I don't know if you know about alcohol, but like, if you break down the word alcohol, man, it's, it means spirits. Why do you think they call it spirit store? Because when you when you drinking, you lowering your vibration down. You feel me? That's why you get back ghetto. You know what I'm saying? That's why you start feeling a little bit thugged out. You know what I'm saying? Like you was when you was back in the hood. You be feeling like that, don't you? Like, that's when you turn on your hood music. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You, you you feeling like you about to, you know what I'm saying? Like you about to spin the block and stuff. Like, because, bro, it lowers your vibration down from a higher vibration of just peace, love, and happiness. It lowers your vibration all the way down to like negativity, hate, rage. That's why when you see people, some people that do drink, they get drunk, they turn into like a demon, bro. Because it opens the door for demon spirits because it's a low vibration. It brace it, it bring your energy down, but it make you feel like you up there still. That makes any sense. Alcohol, alcohol is like a it, alcohol is like a manipulative, a manipulative thing. It makes you feel like you high. Like you in your good mindset, but you really on a low vibration, vibrating low. And you literally inviting negative spirits and toxic people around you because what you digesting is toxic. So you will start to attract even more toxic people that's on that same frequency, that's down there on that same frequency to you if you constantly drunk all the time. You can't live like that, man. It's Man, it'll kill you. It'll, it'll take over your mind, man. You, you'll become a, a functioning alcoholic, bro. Trust me, I done been there before. And I know what it feels like. But I can get I, I can proudly say it's no better feeling in the world. There's no better feeling on earth knowing that you don't need nothing outside yourself to make you feel 100% good. That's the best feeling in the world, man. It's the best feeling in the world, man. Look. Man, it's, it's the best feeling in the world to walk in Whole Foods and get vegetables and lemons and, and stuff like that and salads and stuff, man. Just knowing you healthy, like, bro, it's, it's, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling because your body feels good. You Your body start functioning properly. If you if you putting things in, inside your body to make you feel good, your body going to always reject it and it's going to always have side effects. So like, um, man, I don't know who this video for, but I mean, even when it comes down to smoking and rolling up and stuff, like a lot of y'all already know y'all already know a lot of y'all gonna be in opposition to it because it, because it literally got your mind in a state of mind in a state of thinking that you need it. There ain't nothing that you need outside of yourself, bro. It's nothing. There's nothing in the world that can make you be closer than God than your own self. You don't need green to be creative. You don't. You can be creative naturally. You don't need to, to, to smoke to hang out. You don't need to smoke to have a good conversation with nobody. It's either you can have a good, good conversation naturally or you just, you can't. And I know a lot of people out there suffer from like anxiety and depression and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Disclaimer. That's something that you got to work on on yourself. If most of the time, if you got anxiety, it's probably because of the foods that you put inside your body is not the type of foods you're supposed to be eating. Most of the times when you depress or stress, it's probably because you just hang around people that you don't need to be hanging around. Most of the time when you, you got thoughts of fear, it's probably because you watching, uh, uh, negative stuff on tv they don't do nothing but put fearful thoughts in your mind see everything that they tell you it listen everything everything that they tell you about like being stressed out being anxiety and stuff they always tell you you gotta take something in order to help it you don't you don't you probably just don't go to the gym you don't exercise so your body is just like a car when you don't go get a tune-up or oil change you know what i'm saying when you don't get your tires rotated on your car you know what I mean? When you your car is gonna start breaking down, aka anxiety, depression, stress. Okay, maybe because you don't work out, maybe because you don't drink enough water. If you listen, and that's another thing. See, you won't start doing all this healthy stuff until you stop being, until you stop getting drunk, until you start being sober. It won't never. Your mind won't never click over. 
to the healthy lifestyle or your mind won't never switch over to you know all the right things because you still on that low vibration it don't do nothing but keep you on a low vibration bro even wine i don't know who i'm talking to right now but even wine it do is wine is a sedative it don't do nothing but make you sluggish tired go to sleep it's a sedative and, and you know listen like i told y'all in this video this video i'm not trying to be offensive to you i'm just saying you need to plan on being more sober than ever before in these times okay because y'all it's all about energy now man energy is when your energy high you attract the things that you want into your life not everything you don't want notice how when you be sober right it's, it's like the, the light just cut on in your life Like the light bulb just come on in your head Like you start seeing all the colors of the trees You start seeing life for what it really is when you sober You can think clear Like like I get like I know for me I, I know for me like when I used to get pissy drunk I used to be like always on Like I was always on watch mode Like you know what I mean Just paranoid and stuff like that you know what I mean? Like, just always thinking, like, everybody's against me and stuff. Like, that's because I'm under the influence of a substance that's outside of my body. But, like, when I'm sober, bro, I'm listening to classical music going down the highway. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to, I'm listening to sports riding down the highway. Like, it's like commentary, like, feeling good. I need to go get gas now. I need to fill my tank up. I need to go grocery shopping. Uh, you know, I need to start this new project. You can even focus more when you sober. When you sober, you can focus on everything that you have not got done, bro. And you, bro, you'll just start getting stuff done in your life, and you'll be like, "Yo, I got this going for me now. I got that going for me now. I'm doing this. I'm doing that." It's all because you sober. You can think clearly. You can focus. You'll start going to the gym. <sighs> but again, if you always drunk, if you always high. It don't do nothing but lower your vibration and imbalance your chakras. That's all it does is imbalance your chakras. We live in a time nowadays, folks, once upon a time, once upon a time, smoking green was probably all right, I would say. I would give it the benefit of a doubt. Once upon a time, if you rolled up, so it was probably natural. You know what I'm saying? It was probably some of that old Cali, you know, that old Cali green, you know what I'm saying? That real homegrown stuff. But now... I'll be scared to buy some green from somebody now, especially if I don't even know where it came from. And nowadays you got people pulling out their pockets to sell it to you. Pulling up in their cars to sell it to you. Who knows where their hands been? You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, this stuff, you you getting it from somewhere. You don't even know if it was really cropped. It could be synthetic. You don't even know. I mean, not a, unless you growing yourself. You don't know where it comes from. I don't care how much you try to justify it. If you did not see it, it's just like how you don't see seeds and fruits. You know that's GMO. But nowadays, they got some stuff that they can make it look like it's real and ain't even real, bro. It don't even be real. You know what I mean? And with this alcohol, man, I really believe they have turned up the potency of alcohol to the point that it really can make you addicted for real. Like for real, for real, for real. Man, I find myself, when I used to drink a whole bunch of alcohol and I was getting bottles every day, I used to ask myself, what did they put in this? Because I know I wasn't an alcoholic because, I, like I said, I was just drinking, the, you know what I mean? Because I was bored. But, like, I used to always wonder, like, yo, what do they put in this? Bro, it got to be some type of addiction substance that they put in this that triggers your brain that you got to have another one the next day. Because I'm like, yo, I just thought about getting another bottle of Grey Goose like just now like if you smart you can hear your programming in your own mind telling you all the negative things that you normally do and trying to get you to do it again only if you intelligent and wise enough to do that and and you can understand that your conscience is telling you don't do that if you if you got discernment you can understand how your mind is telling you to do something that you don't want to do and you go do it anyway and you know it's not good for you Bro, that's it right there. That's that's like God telling you like, yo, that ain't for you, bro. That ain't for you. But anyway, like I'm no I'm not trying to step on no toes. Hope this don't make you sensitive to unsubscribe or nothing. All I'm saying is work on it. Work on it. Just just work on it. 
All right. If you need help working on getting off of something that you do, that you it's hard for you to stop, call me. That's why I be saying, book a session with me. Call me. I got you. I teach you how to do it. I teach you how to use affirmations. But I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it again. It ain't if you intelligent and you wise enough, you will know that there is no nothing outside of yourself. No medicine. No drug. No alcoholic substance. There is nothing out here on God's green earth that can make you feel good about yourself better than you can on your own. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing out here worth justifying. Okay? So, um, that's what I got to say, man. Um, and like I say, I'm guilty of this too. I can't even set up here and cap. You know what I'm saying? There'll be times where I just I go out, you know, kick it with the fellas or the homies sometime, and I'll be, you know, I'll be at the at the bar or something, I'll get a little shot. You know, I'll even buy other people some shots. Like, y'all want some shots, y'all want a drink? You know what I mean? Sorry about sorry about that, folks. You know how these car videos are. Um, it'd be so hot out here if I'm making a video in the sun, <laughs> if I don't got the AC on in my car. The video will cut off because my phone temperature get too hot. That's how hot it is out here while I stay in Arizona, man. But anyway, like I said, I'm not making that vi this video to step on nobody's toes. All I'm just telling you to do is just work on it, man. Cut back, man. Because I'm telling you, the best feeling in the world is being sober, bro, and getting things done because you sober. You vigilant. You attentive. You got clarity. Peace of mind. Man, you can focus. So, if you're going to work on it with me, work on it man comment below and say big bro i feel you i'm gonna work on it that's all i'm saying all right damn build rome in one day all right it's gonna take you some time but listen it starts right here man be sober man you a chosen one okay so i'm gonna let you go on that note make sure you subscribe share this video to a friend man and um leave your comment below and let me know what you think also comment below if you already sober say i'm already sober big bro peace